When's the next train, my good man? Oh, should be any minute now. Splendid. So I am to meet my uncle tomorrow at the railway station. Yes, and your aunt has specifically requested that you make sure your uncle brings her handkerchief. And bring her handkerchief. Right, well I'll see you tomorrow then. And Master Tristan, your uncle is a little... <clears throat> well, you were worked out. Hello, Uncle Charles. I'm Tristan. Good afternoon. How was your journey here? Good, I suppose. Good, good. I must say, I find train journeys really rather frightening. Do you? I won't deny they are magnificent machines, but something makes me feel anxious, you know? Like something might happen? Personally, I find them really rather dull. So much so, I often find myself hoping something does happen. I spoke with Brandon Morrill's butler on the telephone yesterday. Sounds as if she is fading fast. A sad time. I wish I'd met her under better circumstances. Um. Brandon told me to make sure you have her handkerchief. I really don't know why she continues to cling on. Yeah, it's nothing special. It's really rather plain the way I see it. I suppose it must have sentimental value. All this toing and froing and whiffle waffling, why can't she just make up her mind? What do you mean? One doesn't want to inconvenience one. Urgent call for Tristan Hamilton. Excuse me. I mean, why can't she decide whether she wants to live or die? A firm stance. Anyone with a sound mind knows that. A firm stance. Hello? Master Tristan, is that you? Brandon, yes it is. You're not very clear. Did you meet with your uncle Charles? Yes, I did. Brandon, why you, did you call me so urgently? I'm afraid I have some bad news. It's your aunt. I'm afraid she is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed that. It's your aunt. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Your aunt is dead. She won't be needing this anymore, then. Master Tristan? That's terrible. 
Yes, it is a great shame. And after such a long illness too. I'm sorry, Brandon, I have to go. I'm so sorry. Where are you going? I'm going to bury my wife before she changes her mind again. He's completely mad. <laughs> 